it takes humility to come to that state of awareness why are my results like this if you are not honest with yourself and you flatter yourself in you know, i'm sure it's just one condition things are not working it's a lie it takes honesty and humility and admission hello guys this is philip aladmiji i welcome you to this youtube channel i'm sure this video you're about to watch will be a blessing to you so kindly like comment and also subscribe to this channel be blessed by this video it takes humility to come to that state of awareness why are my results like this if you are not honest with yourself and you flatter yourself in you know, i'm sure it's just one condition things are not working it's a lie it takes honesty and humility and admission ministry can be better than this business can be better than this my family can be better than this my children can be better than this my school can be better than this the shop or the mall i'm building can be better than this why is everybody in my organization hating me i think it's just witchcraft it may be true but have you tested what wisdom can do in that organization there are many things i didn't know before i cried unto god and i said father grant me wisdom grant me wisdom grant me wisdom when that impartation comes it is part of the ministry of wisdom to discern people before they become. It is wisdom that will help you to see someone and know that that is going to be the greatest prayer secretary, the greatest um, Bible study secretary, the greatest pastor that will come out from you because you cannot know in the flesh. You can see somebody so stubborn, but wisdom can tell you endure. There is a giant rising out of here. If you don't have wisdom, you will drive good people from your life because you cannot see their future at that point. All leaders need wisdom. It is the ability to harness potential. You can see somebody looking all loyal and wonderful, but the Spirit of God tells you, get this person out of your organization now. Ten years from now, you will regret. It's wisdom. All leaders become true leaders because of the presence of wisdom. Are you listening now? This is very important. Some of you have given your cheeks to all kinds of Judas. There's left keys from Judas, right keys from, because you don't know. Jesus will say, come unto me, you will call him a demon. Judas will say, come and you will come because there's no wisdom. The ability to discern is not there. There are many of you, everybody in your life have, has access to your holy of holies. It is not wisdom. The tabernacle was built carrying three layers. There is the outer court. There are things that stay at the outer court. There is the inner court. There are people and things that stay at the inner court. Only foolish people grant anybody access to the inner chambers of your life and your destiny. It doesn't work that way. I learned by wisdom and from men that carry wisdom. Never promote people beyond their last level of honor. It is a disaster. So says wise people. When you promote this honor, you are putting a knife at your own neck. This alone can be a deliverance for someone. Are we in church? You want to see the glory of God manifest in your life? You need wisdom. You need wisdom. Apostle, but God gave me four boys. I'm tired of them. Let me tell you the truth. Your tiredness has not even started till you get wisdom. Because those boys are not the... You are, gone are the days where a parent is the only person that mentors the children. Social media carries more influence on them than many families. You will need wisdom. Are we together? Years ago, if you don't like what your children are watching, all you need to do is to off the central television and that's the end of it. Everybody goes to sleep with anger, but they go to sleep. Unfortunately, as you are off in that television, it becomes a, a more convenient viewership for the people. They can flip all kinds of things. You need wisdom. There are many unending battles in the lives of people because they lack wisdom. God comes to Solomon by night and says, ask, what will I give to you? And he said, I am young. I'm not able to lead these people. Would you give me an understanding heart to discern judgment? That was a way of asking for wisdom. And God was so impressed. He says, you had a chance to ask for the life of your enemies. You had a chance to ask for all of that because this is what you asked for. 
I have given to you what you desire. And in addition, I will give you the thing you did not pray for. Riches, wealth, and honor like no king has ever had. That man woke up not knowing that he had carried wisdom. The first demonstration of wisdom in his life was judging the case between two harlots. That's a very powerful revelation because the Bible says two harlots went to sleep. They both had children. Are we together now? And the Bible says, I don't know how they slept, but one slept on her child. I can spend all day teaching on that. So you can sleep on your child and never see the glory of God. Because the Bible says in, I think Luke or so, it says when they awoke, they saw the glory of God. Those who sleep and remain sleeping, sleep on everything, including their visions, including their dreams. So the Bible says the woman once slept on her child. And when she woke up in the night, she found out that her child was dead. But the child of the other was still alive. That's why you should pray in the night. Many things have happened to people in the night. It was in the night Joseph confused Rachel with Leah. Night is absence of light. It's not just darkness. Every time you make decisions without light, you are acting in the night. And many mistakes happen in the night. Seven years was added to a man's destiny. Digressing to give you a point. The Bible says Joseph, I mean um, um, Jacob in the house of Laban. Are we together now? He saw Rachel. He liked Rachel. He said, listen, let me work for you for seven years and I'll have Rachel. And by that night, my God, I rebuke night from your life. Yeah. Hear me, I prophesy to you, everything that covers you from accessing light and you are, you are groping in the night, making all kinds of destiny mistakes, may your eyes be open. The Bible says he called the darkness night and the light he called day. So day is not just afternoon or morning. Day is whenever your light comes. Darkness is you can be 12 noon in the afternoon, but it can still be night for you because there is no light. Do you know how many things happen in the night? Good things do happen in the night. At midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. They sang. Deliverance happened in the night. But trouble happened in the night. Should I tell you one more thing that happened in the night? While men slept. Which farmer comes to plant in the night? Come on, talk to me. Do you plant in the night? You rest in the night. But there is a mysterious farmer. And he will come near your house sooner or later because he roams around. He's waiting for those. The moment he sees darkness over your life, he assumes you are ready to sleep. Darkness can mean spiritual slumber. I'm saying many things already to someone tonight. Darkness can mean a state where you are not conscious of spiritual things. While men slept, this mysterious farmer who does not farm in the day. No. While you are active, Giving God praise, watering your seeds, watering your destiny. That farmer stays far and keeps hoping that discouragement will bring night upon you. Keeps hoping that whatever will bring night, the moment he sees your sun going down, aha, uh -huh, he carries his seeds. So that you intend to plant favor, but what you are reaping is pain and all kinds of things. And you are wondering, who joined me in this farming? Because I remember the seeds I intended to sow. You see, if you farm in the day, you can know when a stranger intrudes. But when it is darkness, you will not know when someone is also throwing seeds in your farm. Again, I pray for you. May darkness be far from your life. Thanks for watching this video. I believe you were blessed by this video. Stay tuned for the next series. If you are yet to subscribe to this channel, please don't forget to do so. The next time you come and we stay blessed. Shalom.